Welcome. I'm filming this in February of 2021, and I'm in the Midwest of the United States, and it's super cold right now. Tonight, the low is forecast to be minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. And we don't even have the coldest temperatures. There are people north of us that have even colder than this, and people south of us are also dealing with abnormally low temperatures. So as I'm trying to warm up, something popped into my mind that I thought I'd make a video on is how to make fire on the command line. And I'm using a Raspberry Pi for this, but you could probably do this on any command line of any system. You just have to use the appropriate commands to install the software. So if you find this video helpful and you're looking to buy a Raspberry Pi, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So normally when I do a Raspberry Pi command line tutorial, I like to make the font bigger. But in this case, I want to display the whole screen. So I'm going to type the commands out here and maybe I'll enlarge it in my video editor. But I'll also put a link below to my website where I'll have these commands that I'm typing out. So you can just copy and paste them from my website or you can at least view them there. So there are two packages I want to install. The first is Kaka Utils. So I want to type sudo space apt space install space caca utils. Then I'll do space. And the second package is libaa bin. So I want to type libaa bin. So I'll hit enter here. I'll say yes. And I'm working on a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS Lite. Okay, that finished up. I'll clear my screen. So the first command I'm going to run is called AA Fire. I'll hit enter here. And this will create a black and white text fire. So I'll freeze this in my video editor now so you can see the characters on the screen here. So this is kind of like a command line fire. I think it's really cool looking. It's a cool effect. So I can hit Q to stop this. Then if I type in AA fire space dash help, there's some different things we can change here. You can set the width, the height. So you can play around with these. So the way it was drawing it, it was using 8-bit ASCII. So I think I can do extended here and that will show different characters. So this will use a wider character range. And there's other options. I haven't played with all of these options. I like just the default of it. So we could try bold. Let's see what that does. Not exactly sure what that does. But you can play around with that. So I think that's really cool. But that is in black and white. So if we want color, that's where Kaka Utils comes in. So we can type Kaka Fire. I'll hit enter here. And here we have Color Fire. And if you stand back and kind of squint a little bit, you know, it really does have kind of a cool fire look to it. And I'll pause the video here so you can see the characters on this one. So to get out of this one, you want to hit escape and that will escape out of it. So I think those are two fun little quick command line utilities you can do. I think this could be cool to display if you had like a makerspace holiday party, you could put this up on a monitor and have kind of like your digital fireplace or something. Or if you have any kind of gathering where geeks are around, I think they'll appreciate this more than a regular fake fireplace you might be watching on YouTube or something. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.